first of all, let me introduce you to Frank van Uffe. You are here because of him. <laughs> and uh, he's doing this for the third time. This is the third edition yeah. of this uh, class of 2020. So, uh, I first of all, want to have an applause for him because that seems to be the one. <laughs> Transition young people that start as a student and they will become somebody who really makes a change in the city. And I'm sure that we will see a lot of you more in the future. What are we going to do today? We're going to talk about the future of Europe, I guess. Okay. The next European Renaissance. Yeah. So, so from so student housing to Europe. That's the yeah. concept. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Tell me a little bit about this. No, the, um, I mean, this is the third year indeed. Very excited to see so many of you again this year, but also to see so many new faces. And last year we concluded the, the idea that the issues that we have with student housing in the Netherlands and the, the growth and the development of universities and university cities was not just something that was that we were experiencing here. But it was something that was happening throughout Europe, and especially since the investors and some of the groups that are helping to support the student housing uh, uh, community are European. They are, I mean, they are, they are realities European. So this year we decided, let's bring those European groups together. Let's think from a perspective that, that we work together with the cities and universities and the student houses as providers. Because we, for example, <coughs> on a daily basis, provide a, a room for Aunt Sophie in Rotterdam, because she's going to uh, Erasmus University. And there are so many of us that do that on a daily basis. You're, you're a landlord. I'm an <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll have more musicians that come to Amsterdam uh, to study at the academy from Romania, from all over the world. So it's just that talent and, and, and working with that talent. And I think a lot of cities and a lot of people involved in student housing have realized in the last couple of years that this is not just something of an economic or an investment opportunity, but something really meaningful and something really necessary. Because in Europe, we are currently you know, really faced with this idea of like, what is our society going to be about? And we think we can help. Okay. And that's why we want to bring people together. So the message at the end of the day, yeah. what would you want to hear? There's Frau Gerels is here, yeah. city of Amsterdam. What would you want her to learn from this day at the end of the day? Well, I think there's, <clears throat> I mean, we're very opportunity driven, so to say. I mean, there are a few things that we would like to see fixed as a community of student housing investors. So we'll probably have to name all those things that need to be reformed in terms of regulations or in terms of transparency in the marketplace. You know, like, uh, like sharing data, IPD will be talking about that as well. But it's also, I think, understanding the opportunity that we have as cities. How do we attract talent? What do we need to provide them? And what role do the universities play in that? I just came back from Korea where I was together with the mayor of Amsterdam and uh, uh, Free University, asking people in Korea or ex explaining them what wonderful opportunities they have here. And so, do they do enough? Do, does the city work enough on that program attracting students to the city? Well, I think we're all learning that we can do so much more. Okay. And we're discovering that together. So that's why I think this is... So at the end of the day, we have some ideas. Um, yeah, well, we asked a couple of people to listen to the audience and listen who are here, to so listen to the panels. And they, um, they will be, at the end of the day, closing the, uh, uh, the session with an agenda for the coming year. Because the class of 2020 is a foundation, it's a non-profit with the sole purpose of providing a platform for people to come together and to develop knowledge. Yeah. It's not about consuming, it's also about producing something today. Exactly. The yeah. community. So, the idea is that there is a closing panel at the end of the day. There are some people around us who try to learn a lot of things today, talk to the people today, and they at lunch you can, they are sitting on separate tables, and you can have lunch with them and, and, and explain to them how you see the world of student housing and everything that is connected to that. So I'm going to introduce to, to you to them. I'm going to ordain them today <laughs> as the ones that can really carry the message of today and hopefully tell us at the end of the, end of the day how, what they've learned and yeah. what we can do, and maybe in the form of some recommendations to the city, see them move ahead. Can I first ask Xavier Jonge to come forward, and I have an official badge, that's Xavier. This is the official uh, inauguration for you, <laughs> as a, which is a, quite an honor, just to be sure. Good morning. Yes, I'll officially put it up there.
you here, you're not going to talk. You couldn't talk the other day, but you now you know who he is, and this is the person you can talk to and exchange information, and he's going to fill, hopefully, uh, the meeting at the end of the day with great ideas. Thank you very much. Today is especially interesting to talk to when you want to talk about funds okay. and investments. Yeah. Very good person, too. Can I ask Giel van Dijk to come forward? Giel. Giel, Giel. This is also an investor, right? Yeah, but very interesting building communities. What I liked about Giel is that he said we need to build not just student housing, but neighborhoods. So that's building. Okay. So the first two are really investors. Yeah. <laughs> Muslim. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Can I ask Fabian Mollet Viviu to come forward? Hello, really hi here, official. I hope you can tell it at home how important you were today. <laughs> <laughs> so you can explain. Yeah, Fabian has done a wonderful job in developing a, a hotel and student housing combined in Barcelona. And he's going to do that now in Paris as well. Mm -hmm. I think it's a very interesting model. And we asked Fabian especially to, uh, for, uh, for people that are interested in the operational side and how do you make these business models work. So, mm -hmm. so if you want to know how, how these nice. projects work, you have to be with it, right? And then I can ask Giuliano Antunes from Brazil, all the way from Brazil. Get a good night's sleep? Yeah. Good. <laughs> no jet lag and all that stuff? Not anymore. Okay. So, and maybe Frank, you can explain. Yeah, Giuliano is very special because he traveled the world. Yeah. Literally everywhere yeah. to see student housing projects, and he's starting his own business now yeah. in, uh, in in Brazil, based in São Paulo, with a simple ambition of doing 50 projects for the next couple of years. <laughs> so we thought anybody that has ambitions <laughs> regarding <laughs> their own, well, yeah, they're building. Just a few. Yeah, yeah, I think they're building a hundred new universities over the next couple of years. So that's yeah. they need that. But uh, startup, startup, yeah. yeah. So if you want to begin this student housing, exactly. Here's your yeah. Time. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you. Something I've learned over the time that we, it's the other way around now, we're starting to learn from countries like Brazil yeah. and uh, the upcoming economies about how to do it instead of the other way around. Obnoxious Western thinking, of course. Uh, uh, then I can ask Patricia Martinez to come forward. Patricia, here you are. I'm not sure, okay, I can move over here. Yeah. Yes. So you're officially Thank you. part of the community. <laughs> Why do you want to talk to her? We invited Patricia, uh, it's not the first time we uh, invited the president of the ACUO organization uh, from the United States. They work, they're part of the university. And what uh, Patricia, I think, will be an excellent person to talk to is about the student experience. And what's so interesting about the United States model <clears throat> is that they really consider your residential experience part of the success of your academic experience. And they actually have a research center and dedicated resources to that. So I think we can learn a great deal from that. Thank you. The student experience. And last, but of course not least, Christina Garcia Ferri. <coughs> Christina, where are you? I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> and Frank? Yeah. I'm just hey, sure where how is this kind of trick. Yeah, like that. Okay, we will. Uh, yeah, all right. Yes, yes, yes. Yo, looks great. Yeah. It's, it's, it's matching. It's matching with the yeah. Also from Spain, Madrid. Uh, Azora took over a, uh, a portfolio of more than 6,000 uh, beds from the Resta Group a couple of years ago. And what's really interesting about the, uh, uh, the portfolio that uh, Christina is uh, managing and responsible for is that they do that in very close collaboration with universities. And I think that's a very interesting uh, model because universities don't have the money nor the resources nor the expertise to develop student housing, but for, to attract international students, it's, a pre, like, it's really so important to have that. And so how do you structure those partnerships? How do you 
make it better? How do you go abroad and, and uh, you know, attract students? It's something that we believe uh, Christina can do. Uh, so, what question would be the best question? Any, anything related to partnerships with universities and student housing providers. Thank you for being here. Thanks, you. Okay. Yes, we're going to start with the first. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. And I mean, of course, this only was possible with the help of all the partners uh, that are listed here. Um, we really want to encourage people to join uh, the, the class of 2020. And uh, well, there will be moments during the day to talk about that. But um, thank you for everybody. Thank you. Thank you all. <laughs>